Hi, I'm Jerry. Today we are going to do a quick video on how to center a design on a hat. Not using, not we're not going to center it here in the middle like what we usually do. We're going to center it on a side panel. Okay, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to take like the, either the, like the uh, just painter's tape, just a little bit of tape. And so I'm just going to put this on my hat on the panel where I want to center it. And I'm just going to put a piece just in there, just somewhere. So it covers up halfway in the middle. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to place it and I'm going to measure from one side to the other side, which is like the middle. And I see that that is three and a half. So to get our middle point of that, I'm gonna use a pen, and I'm just gonna make a quick little line at inch and three fourths, okay? You can use any kind of pen. We're just making a quick mark on the tape. That tape is not gonna be on there very long at all. But like I said, we just took our measurement from one side of the panel we want to embroider on over to the middle, and we got our halfway mark. Okay, so we're done with the tape measure, done with our pen. So now we're going to hoop this hat just like we would any other hat. Put our Pull our sweatband out of the way. We're just putting this on here really super quick like. Okay, I know normally I would put the clips on but uh, we're just going to, we're just doing this for demo purposes. Up and over just like we would any other hat. Make sure our band is across where it needs to go and we're going to clip this in okay our hat is hooped okay not very centered but that's okay we'll we'll take care of that when we get to the machine okay pop this off now we're going to go over to the machine okay i have a design pulled up it's just a little design and first i'm going to back this up so i can make sure and get my hat hoop on Put your hat hoop on, just like you would any other time. Okay, that's on the machine. Now, what we're going to do is, we are going to use this button here, the one that looks like a magnifying glass, that is our live camera. Okay. Then, if we use this button here, it has the little green plus on it that turns our needle marking position on, okay? So again, it's it's illuminated here, and so this is gonna be our needle drop. So I'm going to push that button, and that's going to get me closer to the hat. So this one is the centered, this one is top or bottom, since we had to flip our design for a hat. So now we can see our piece of tape, so we're close, so this is our this is our center line of our hat. So normally we would go over and we would line, line our marking up with the center so our design would be centered in the hat. But since we want to put it on a panel, a side panel, now we're gonna slide down, get a little bit close. Oh, there's our mark. So we can slide down. Again, I'm just using the arrows of the live camera. Oop, went too far. Okay, and again, we can use our three buttons here. Um, the one on the far right makes it go the fastest. The one in the middle slows it down a little bit, makes the movements a little, little smaller and incremental. So we can go down, then we can grab our tape measure again. And I always like to do this, especially if you have a lot of hats to do to make sure they're always lined up in the same spot. So we can see we're just about at an inch up and we'll go down to let's say an inch. Okay, so we can see if we were to embroider this design, we mark the halfway in between the two panels with that line. Our center line is lined up perfectly with that. So we would press OK and we would be ready to embroider that design and it would stitch out perfectly centered on one panel. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, send them my way. We'll see if we can't answer for you. Thank you.